so much, and uh, thanks for the invitation to be in this uh, distinguished uh, panel. Um, in a democracy, in a democracy, if there's no communication, something terrible happens. And until recently, I thought that the most terrible thing that actually could happen was that nothing happened. But I have to say that also listening to President Giscard d'Estaing uh, just a moment ago, that what we have seen by lack of communication and wrong communication over the last couple of weeks have actually helped create a crisis. So uh, I think when we look at the challenges in front of us, it is very much about communication, and that's where I see the specificity of Atomium culture, that you are actually in a niche between the research community and the public, linking up these two communities in order to make sure that there is public support for research, which ultimately is the only way out of our competition with China, Brazil, India, and all the rest. So it's a, it's a fairly crucial role that has to be filled out by somebody, and I think Atomian Culture is, is trying its best to do that. Now, to be very specific, and I would agree with the previous uh, speaker that it's not only about 2020, it's actually about 2010, because we have no time to lose. And what I would like to make here are three very small recommendations, very practical ones. We need to get the science community to exert pressure, gentle pressure, intelligent pressure on the political system. That is why we need to look at the political calendar. What is going on? Where are these issues discussed? And Mayor Gagan Quinn mentioned a few events that are coming up exactly in 2010. Incidentally, we have already in May, that's maybe a bit early, but already in May, we have the Council of Internal Market that's going to discuss the European patent, which is a scandal that we haven't been able to agree on a European patent because actually of language problems, etc., etc. They will look at standardization. They will look at a framework program for research and development. They will look at uh, an innovation plan. That's already in May. That's maybe too early. But what I'm more thinking about is how can Atomium culture play a role in the run-up to the European Council meeting in October, where you have at the level of heads and state, uh, of, of state and government you have a pan-European discussion addressing one of the flagship initiatives in the Europe 2020 agenda, which is research and development. Now, for us to be useful, this has to be brought to the table of the editorial committee. And that has to happen now, so that the young researchers in Krakow or wherever they are can actually bring forward interesting articles in the run-up to that particular session of the European Council. So that when people open their newspapers or when they look at TV, and I'll come to that in a moment because it's about going multi-platform as well, they see that something interesting is happening. And they also hopefully will be aware that this article is addressing an issue that the heads of state and government are actually going to have on their agenda. And, and, and it's possible. It's, not, it's very practical. It's very simple. If we can link the publication of these articles in a strategic way to the political agenda, then we can get some traction. Second point, um, that would be uh, fairly simple. We need to link up in, in training programs for researchers, this has already been mentioned. I have some money, you may have some channels, others may have that. I think we have to couple up, link up in a way uh, to make sure that specialized journalists 
link up with scientists and they get some kind of training also in how that relates to the European agenda. Because maybe that link is not yet completely clear. <laughs> Finally, and I join in uh, what was said from uh, one of the first speakers, uh, we have to go multi-platform. It is clear that it is very important, very important that we get our stuff, that you get your stuff published in these very well-known, respected newspapers. But we have to think of links, of, of ways to bring it on to the social networks. And uh, uh, I have some ideas on that. I would like to engage with you guys on how we can do that. Uh, but it's clear that multi-platform is the future. Uh, otherwise, we will, we will lose it. So these were the very three, uh, the three very simple, pragmatic uh, 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 suggestions, the editorial committee, the training, and the social networks.